Nearly 200 names associated with the late sex offender Jeffrey Epstein have been released to the public by a judge in New York. Yes, Prince Andrew and Bill Clinton are among those listed, though the former US president has not been accused of anything illegal. Lawyers for Prince Andrew have previously denied any claims of wrongdoing. Well, the disclosures throw new light on the sex trafficking network, uh, which was apparently directed by Epstein, who died in his prison cell in 2019 and his associate, Ghislaine Maxwell, who, of course, is currently serving a long jail term. Mm. Well, joining us now to discuss this further is Royal and Showbiz reporter Kinsey Schofield. Very good morning to you, Kinsey. So these documents were highly anticipated, weren't they? What have we learnt from them? I, absolutely. The documents contain excerpts of depositions taken of Ghislaine Maxwell and Virginia Gouffre. There's also a deposition from Joanna Schoberg. Uh, now, what kind of wreaked havoc, havoc over the last few hours here in the States were these three people that filed appeals. Um, one was granted uh, an appeal, and that was Jane Doe 107. Another that's filed an appeal is Jane Doe 110, and that's under review. These are individuals that that do not want their names releases released, and they're not released in these documents that we've seen. Jane Doe 110 is said to have been widely associated with Epstein in the past, but filed a last-minute request to stay anonymous. They are described in court documents as an alleged Epstein affiliate, and they want they say they need to protect themselves for their safety. Um, I'd say that no big bombshells. Obviously, you, you named Bill Clinton, uh, who was mentioned in the documents. Stephen Hawking was mentioned in the documents. Nothing, I'd say, earth-shattering. Um, but I should repeat that Ghislaine Maxwell continues to maintain her innocence throughout these documents being released through her lawyer. And Bill Clinton says that he had no idea of Jeffrey Epstein's activities, illegal activities, and insists that he just wrote on the plane he never visited the island. I mean, it's caused a lot of controversy. I mean, it, it has, you said, been highly anticipated, the release of these names. But does it tell us anything new, really? I think that... I think that maybe perhaps someone like Bill Clinton is being caught in a lie throughout these documents. People are being caught in lies. Like, did they necessarily really have closer relationships to Epstein than they uh, initially um, said they did? But I, nothing jaw-dropping on my end. I, I, the, the Stephen Hawking thing, perhaps, but this is a morning show. This is a family show, so I won't go into depth. Yeah. <laughs> and, Kinsey, what do you think uh, this means for Prince Andrew? I mean, he and Buckingham Palace deny any wrongdoing. But over Christmas, we saw Fergie, didn't we, step out on that Christmas Day walk for the first time in 30 years. There are rumours of the two of them potentially getting back together. What do you think this means for him and the royal family? An extremely uncomfortable time because when documents like this are released, you know, things, it's, it's like the worst game of telephone in the world. Somebody at the hair salon has misinterpreted a line or a, a television quote that they heard, and, you know, rumors just start going and, and, it, and it becomes bigger than you want it to be. So I think that he's likely in a really uncomfortable position and wants this to go away. But we've seen the royal family really unite around him. And I think that we're going to continue to have the never explain, never you know, never complain, never explain strategy, and that they are going to continue to support him in the way that they do by just allowing him to hover around them. Okay, Kinsey, for now, thanks very much indeed.